In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you are well on this day, Wednesday, the 16th day of February, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2022. Today we conclude the section that we started on Monday. How a Christian should be able to graphically show love to uh, the brothers and sisters, to everyone, those in relationships and otherwise. And yesterday, remember, we ended up with where we talked about the, the Word of God. And we did insist that it is important as Christians to learn the habit of reading the Word of God all the time. I'm saying this because there are so many people who read a lot of books. I have no problem at all. I do read a lot of books. But remember, spiritual books cannot represent or uh, replace the Bible. Uh, they can't. But what we can is that uh, let us all, always, 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 let us learn to be running to the source. The spiritual books will be quoting some verses as they expound their wisdom, but always come to the source. The seventh way of showing love to our brothers and sisters is learning how to listen and to watch our family. I keep saying this, eh? out of years of observation, I work with the students, both in primary, secondary, college, and universities. And today I can say with a lot of authority, that in most of our households, there is very poor listening that happens. Our moms and dads have become very busy to the extent that they do not have enough time to listen to their children. So many a times, our kids feel ostracized, not listened to, not loved, not appreciated. You talk to our gracious women, those who are in, in relationships and marriages, they will tell you the same, that their, pa their pa partners, a good number of them, have no time for them. You'll find in some situations where a gracious lady will tell you that, Father, in my in marriage, the last time I talked to my husband was two years ago. Those are the things that we hear out there. It's a reality. It's so, so, so sad that uh, you can be in the same house with your partner and no talking to one another. Is it happening to you? I know it is, or maybe you have heard. You talk to our men, they will tell you the same. My wife is too busy uh, to have time for me or for our children. My wife is this or the other one. You know one thing I have always said? That it is so easy to have someone we can blame. Blaming someone is the easiest thing because at least we are not the persons on the receiving end. But this is where I would want us to graciously take the charge and then ask, am I purposing to listen to our family members? How many of brothers and sisters, siblings from the same mom, same dad, who have no time for one another? They are in their numbers. No time for one another. And this is very sad. If we are able to listen to one another, then I can tell you for a fact that uh, we will be able to love as Christ would love. Number nine, practice asking questions to know how to better love your family. Always ask, what can I do that you may feel more of my presence? What can I do? If you are a married man, Constantly ask your wife and children, how do you want it? Please don't assume that uh, that is what they want, what you are doing. Gracious mothers, the same and wives, please ask your partner, ask your children, brothers and sisters, engage each other. What can we do? Maybe you will say that we can meet often as siblings. We can have more dinners. We can have more lunches. We can do more outings. All that is quite, quite important. And fin uh, not finally, uh, number nine, practice praying over your family. For 
all the good reasons, this is my best. I don't know how many times you take, you, you recollect yourself and say a prayer to your brothers and sisters and say a prayer to your mom and dad and say a prayer to your children. On Sunday, I was sharing with the boys whom I preached to every Sunday in one of the high schools in Nyeri. And I was talking to those sometimes who are so dejected because of how their parents are behaving at home. Remember the state of uh, peace at home affects our, our students in school. So some are gifted intellectually, but they end up performing so bad because they are worried for their moms, for their dads, for their family, all those things. And I told them, dear young boys, there is very little you can do about your mom and your dad's marriage. It is their marriage. They are the ones who know the issues that they are dealing with. Two things that you, you, you should always observe. One, a don't. And one, a do. One don't is that do not take sides. Do not gang up with your mom to disrespect your dad. Do not gang up with your dad to disrespect your mother. Because in either way, it is wrong. But there is something very important. Although it is true there is very little you can do, if anything, about your parents, but always say a prayer for them. That is what I tell our students. Pray for your mom. Pray for your dad. If they are constantly fighting, pray for them. You never know it could be your prayer that God will answer, and then there is restoration in that family. I'm saying this to all of us. Take time to pray for our families. My brothers, my sisters, I come from a family where now our, both our parents have rested. And we are left as siblings. And God knows that I love my brothers and my sisters so much. And I pray for them actually on a daily basis. And we talk. We talk every day. Our things and uh, I, I purpose. I know I'm such a busy human being. But I purpose to look for my brothers and my sisters. Physically, I purpose. Because I know when all is said and done, they are the only persons I have in this world. And that is the truth of the matter. Please do not be so busy to the extent that you have no time for your brothers and sisters. Even if you are so well endowed financially, look for one another, laugh together, eat together, pray together. It's important. Those of you who are strewn all over the world, I know some families that have prayer worship once a month. I know, and I feel so good that family members all across the continent can come together online and pray together. They do. A number of families that I know that they talk to one another virtually once a month because of distance. There are those others who purposely meet, some even weekly, for tea, for dinner, for lunch. Such a humbling experience and practice. Finally, number 10, practice praying over your own spiritual growth in the area of the family. Now, praying for yourself that you may grow spiritually. Now, that is important. Because again, for us to study in the gap for others, we need also to be strengthened and energized. What does that mean? It means if we constantly keep our focus on the source of all that is good, the source who is God energizes us. He who focuses their attention on God, they are perpetually energized. Be that person, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Wednesday. I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K. Thank you.